This is an introduction about the structure of alchemometric projects. First, we distribute a PDF with instructions, along with data and literature. In the data, for example, you can find tasks or example tasks, as well as the Jupyter notebooks that the students need to fulfill their tasks. In the literature files, you can find papers and books. On the left hand side, you can see the basic structure of a project. On the right hand side, you see the example project image analysis. The structure is divided into several parts. First of all, in green, we always have an introduction text on the topic for the students to get into the topic more easily. Afterwards, we usually split uh, our task into several smaller parts, which consists of literature research, of questions on the literature for a better understanding, and finally on the programming tasks usually solved with Jupyter Notebooks. In the end, the final task is to make a video production on the whole topic, for example, image analysis, where they cover all tasks and everything they found in the literature which they think is important. Now you will see some examples of the videos that our students produced. What is clustering? Clustering is the organization of data into similarity groups called clusters. Maybe you have a lot of time now due to Corona, and maybe you have thought about going into the forest and looking for mushrooms there so you can cook a great meal out of them. And hopefully you'll take something like this with you. It's a book that shows you different groups of mushrooms, evil ones and poisonous ones. And you just have to sort the mushrooms you find according to the given properties. So if you find one of these mushrooms, you might rather not take it with you, while with these you will be cooking a great meal. And what you're doing then is simply classification. This is an example of live coding that our students produced. Then we try radial basis function, RBF. Plot it, ha, huh. much better. So what we do is we make a bracket right there and then we just write whatever we want as a substituent, in this case, a methyl group, and then just the last couple ones. And oh, forgot this one. Perfect. 